My topic is laminated and embedded hibernium leaves, flowers and some small insects. If I ask my students, can you identify this mobile? Definitely they will say, they will, they will be able to identify it. If I ask my children to identify this leaf, most of them cannot identify it. So my aim is to make our children to get familiar with our environment through this project, herbarium. Herbarium specimens are the pressed plant sample deposit for the future study. It supports research work. Specimens are pressed by placing the specimen between the paper under the weight. The objective of pressing the plant is to extract moisture within the short period of time. Process. Collection of sample. Specimens are, are, are pressed under the, under the paper placing it under the weight. Laminating herbarium specimen by ironing the lamination paper by putting the sample in between by using an ordinary iron box. Many, of the, many plants and animals are described in the test book from 5th standard to 10th standard. I tried to collect most of the plants and animals which was available and tried to laminate, embedded and mounted it. See few examples are given below. So the flowers, see we have a flowers in their lesson, so I try to laminate the flowers. So you can see that the dicotyledon and monocotyledon, so we can, children can very easily distinguish between the monocotyledon and dicotyledon. So you can see that the leaf margin, leaf blade, leaf base, etc. very clearly by this one. See the same way, I did many leaves with the la, herbarium leaves, you can see the new leaves. So many leaves are there so that children will get familiar with the environment. So by doing this project, the children got familiar with the environment. So the advantage of the thing, so it can be easily available to the students. Laminated leaves and flowers can be preserved for many years without any damage. It can be easily, easy to handle, it is very cheap. I did the activity with the children and the response after the activity was very good. 80 percentage of the children could identify the leaves after the activity. So that the, I did the embed, I embedded to some of the specimens over here. Embedding can be done by pressing the specimen between the acrylate. It can be used it as a paper white, it can be used it as a keychain. Some of the other specimens are also collected and preserved in the lab and even the fishes and some other small insects are collected and preserved in the 10 percentage formalin. As the children showed interest over there, so I collected many samples and made a book, a book of herbarium. It contains the name of the plant, description of the plant, herbarium leaves and the uses of it. Yeah. So I would like to conclude by saying that the teachers and students can do the lamination in their school. It is very cheap. The lamination paper costs only 3 rupees 50 paise. Each and every school can afford it. So that the, I prefer that the teachers has to do and make a teaching aid for their school. By doing this project, children will get, children will get inspired to the, inspired for doing the science project. And the same way they will get interact with the environment so that the children can observe the environment very clearly. So thank you.